Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Randolph, spokesperson of the Edmonton Humane Society. Your This Week at the EHS for August the 17th focuses on two specific animals. Two animals with completely different issues in their past before coming to us. Two lovely pets, each hoping for the ultimate forever home to give them a second chance. First, to Mason, the two-year-old male cat with a huge story to tell. He's one of just a few survivors of a so-called cat house in West Edmonton. Our animal protection officers have removed just over 160 cats from the home over the last several weeks, all part of a tragic animal hoarding situation. Only nine have been well enough to rehome. Our officers are still going back every day, catching a few more at a time in humane cat traps and bringing them back to the shelter. They also leave food and water for the estimated 10 or so still left in there, hiding in nooks and crannies inside. They will continue visiting the scene every day until each cat is removed. Most of the cats had severe respiratory illnesses or even parts of the respiratory tracts literally burned away from breathing in high levels of ammonia from the horrible conditions inside. Mason was a lucky one, healthy, but when found, he had part of a mason jar stuck on his head. Poor little guy. Our medical staff members removed it right away. He's fine, but just a bit skittish. So his forever home will need people who will work patiently with him to bring him out of his shell. Hi, buddy. Saber. Now to Saber, the six-year-old Pointer. His story is quite different. A lovely dog who first came to us back in 2008 and was quickly adopted by a wonderful family. But four years later, he returns. It turns out the owners had aged and had so much trouble handling him on a leash for walks and around other dogs. It was just so overwhelming for them. They put him through behavior training, but it was just not working. Here at the shelter, however, he's doing great socializing with other shelter dogs and working with our behavior specialist. He's very, very social, very loving, got lots of energy. He would be really uh, well suited for a farm or something that he can run around, play with other dogs, have lots of exercise on a daily basis. Anyone who takes Saber home to give him another chance will also get three complimentary behavior consulting sessions to help get them off to a good start. So these are just two of roughly 13,000 stories that come through our doors every year with that many animals coming to us. These stories are so hard to showcase, of course, all of them, but surely you will hear of more in future Week in Reviews. Join us again next Friday.